Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Naturally, uh, we're at SHOT Show 2020. Uh, you know that I am a huge fan of Aero Precision. I've got, uh, I got several 5.56 ARs, I've got a 300 Blackout, I've got a 6.5 Creedmoor. I love everything that Aero Precision does, and they've actually found a new way to take more of my money. <laughs> I've got Jeff here. He's going to be talking about the Aero Precision PCC. So I'm just going to turn it over to you and let you roll with it. What What is going on with this? Yeah, so uh, basically what we've done is this is our first entrance into the pistol caliber carbine market. Um, and we just took the traditional Aero approach, giving our customers a quality product, great value, um, and just doing exactly what we do best is right. uppers, receiver, uh, upper receivers, lower receivers, all of the configurations that any builder needs, right? Yeah. So, just to give you a quick rundown of the feature set on this receiver set here, so um, all of our proprietary parts will become will come pre-installed. Okay. Uh, so the mag catch, mag spring, the pins, the last round bolt hold open device. Okay. Um, so uh, that's something else I kind of want to just touch on. So the last round bolt hold open is contained in the upper receiver. Okay. So if somebody already has say a lower receiver that doesn't have that feature in it, mm -hmm. just pop our upper receiver on there and now you have last round bolt hold up. You know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so you don't have to buy like another, you know, serialized part or something sure, yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So um, MSRP points, everybody's going to ask how much does it cost? Right, right. right. So um, buying the receiver set, the MSRP point is $249.99. Okay, is that, you, is that a married upper and lower? Yeah, it, it, it comes together. Yeah. Okay, right. And then um, if you just need the upper, it's $129.99. Okay. And if you're doing just the lower receiver, it's going to be $149.99. Okay. Um, um, supporting products yep. uh, for the line, obviously, um, with the shorter barrel lengths that come with uh, pistol caliber carbine builds, uh, we've increased the length offerings on our handguards. So we have a, a four inch handguard, a 10 and a half inch handguard as well. Okay. Um, and that's both in our Atlas system. So our R1 only in the four because there's just not enough material to, sure. to make an S1 out of yep, it. Yeah. Um, and then R and S in the 10 and a half inch, which we have here. So. Right on, outstanding. So um, barrel links uh, that you recommend for this setup? Sure. Um, so we have a couple configurations that we have planned. So uh, we offer a five and a half inch barrel, okay. uh, an eight inch barrel, a an 11 and a, or excuse me, 11.3 inch barrel. Okay. And then a 16 inch barrel for those guys who just want to run a legal configuration. Sure. Don't yep. want to do a pistol build out of yeah. it. Yeah. Like yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, one other thing we just kind of want to talk about here is a little sneak peek. If I just lock the bolt back here. Is a charging handle. Yes. Uh, so this is our prototype charging handle. Oh wow. So ambidextrous design works on both sides. You can get your fingers on it. Um, two latch sizes, small and large latches. Okay. Uh, gas deflector in the back here if you're yep. going to suppress, you suppress. know, get gas yep. in your face. Yep. Um, and then really the the, uh, the idea for us is to build a charging handle that looks good, feels good, but is also very robust. Okay. Right? So uh, the bar design channels um, the force from the actual uh, mechanism of charging sure. the weapon yep. into the most robust parts of the charging handle. And then we've also um, kind of reduced the chamfers. Traditionally, you get that rounded look on right. a charging handle. Sure. This one's squared out, which gives you more material in the bar. So if you ever have that situation, and we all have, where you got to really wrench on this guy yep. or mortar it or something like that, it's going to protect it from you know any potential breakage. And is that is that charging handle going to be offered uh, in that design for all different types of uh, AR platforms? Yep. So you know, five, five, six, or AR fifteen so. and uh, three hundred eight platforms. Right. So yep, we'll have both of those. As Outstanding. Well. So uh, release dates. Okay, so yeah, um, I, one thing I didn't touch on, I guess I should say here, is we'll also have small frame and large frame, so okay. 9 and 40, okay. 10 and 45. There, okay. Um, the 10 and 45 is going to lag just a little bit behind because sure. we're still getting some of the tooling done. Okay, there you go. Um, but uh, we're shooting for like late quarter one, early quarter two for the PCC receivers okay. and supporting products for the 9 mil. And uh, the charging handle is still kind of in a prototyping phase right okay, now, so sure. I don't have a direct. Okay. But uh, would you say 2020 oh, or absolutely. okay? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. later on this year? Yep. Oh, outstanding, outstanding. Uh, that that's amazing. I mean, freaking, you guys know that Aero Precision is one of the best manufacturers out there for high quality AR, you know, components, all that jazz. But you, they're not going to break the bank, and that's something I've always loved about Aero Precision, uh, even before I even got into the YouTube game. So. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys will get enough pictures 
on the B-roll so you can see close up everything that's going on with it. Uh, but again, freaking arrow precision, knocking it out of the park as always, man. So uh, there you guys go. Thanks so much for swinging by. Uh, more SHOT Show coverage coming up and we will catch you next time. Thanks so much as always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Later, Jeff. Okay.